Hey guys, so for tonight's budget friendly meal, I've got one pan ground beef gnocchi. So it says the prep time is five minutes, cook time is 20 minutes, so in total 25 minutes. I am following a recipe today that I'll show you in the next part of the video. And I've gone ahead and taken and broken down the cost as much as I can. So tonight's meal costs $13.35 US and $18 Canadian. However, it looks like it's going to make a couple nights of leftovers. So for that cost, not too bad. So let's take a look and see what we're making and what ingredients. Okay, so you're gonna need a big skillet, cheese grater, one pound of ground beef, mine's 1.6, so everything I'm doing is just gonna be just a little extra. My beef got oxidized, you can see the little hole there, so it's a little sad, but it's still good. Beef broth, heavy whipping cream, uh, medium onion, one pound of gnocchi. I'm gonna add cremini mushrooms into mine. Minced garlic, Italian seasoning, 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. It calls for half a cup of Parmesan, which I again don't have, so I'm gonna use some Gouda. Here is the recipe that I'm following. Shout out to the author, Natasha Bull. That's everything we're going to need. Okay, so we've got half an onion chopped. And then I'm just going to add in the mushrooms that I decided to add that weren't in the recipe. We've got half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, some salt and pepper, some minced garlic, and a can of diced tomatoes, a third of a cup beef broth, three quarters of a cup heavy whipping cream, add in your gnocchi, just keep giving it a stir, cooking on a medium, medium high heat, and then I'm going to add in the Gouda cheese, stir that up, get it all melted, and this is the final look of it. Okay, so my afterthoughts on this meal is that it was fantastic. It was really good. I'm so glad that we added the mushrooms in, and I would even go as far as next time maybe adding in some fresh spinach or something. I think you could really play with the ingredients. We added the fresh mushrooms, I would add fresh spinach. You could even take and maybe add in some fresh peppers. Also, I think it could be fun to try air frying the gnocchi or pan frying it and giving it just that little bit of crunch I think could bring something else to it. But yeah, we will definitely be making this meal again. It was delicious and it looks like we're gonna have leftovers now for maybe three days. So pretty good for the cost of it definitely be eating it for a few days and I don't mind that because it was really good so let me know in the comments if you have made this meal or if you do make it what you thought of it and anything else that you would maybe add or change and switch up to it let me know what you guys think